it was announced that wages were to be cut down, great indignation was felt, and it was decided to strike en masse. This was done. The mills were shut down, and the girls went in procession from their several corporations to the Grove on Chapel Hill and listened to incendiary speeches from early labor reformers. One of the girls stood on a pump and gave vent to the feelings of her companions in a neat speech, declaring that it was their duty to resist all attempts at cutting down the wages. This was the first time a woman had spoken in public in Lowell, and the event caused surprise and consternation among her audience. Cutting down the wages was not their only grievance, nor the only cause of this strike. Hitherto, the corporations had paid 25 cents a week towards the board of each operative, and now it was their purpose to have the girls pay the sum. And this, in addition to the cut in wages, would make a difference of at least $1 a week. It was estimated that as many as 12 or 1,500 girls turned out and walked in procession through the streets. My own recollection of this first strike, or, or turnout, as it was called, is very vivid. I worked in the lower room where I had heard the proposed strike fully, if not vehemently discussed. I'd been an ardent listener to what was said against this attempt at oppression on the part of the corporation, and naturally I took sides with the strikers. When the day came on, which the girls were to turn out, those in the upper rooms started first, and so many of them left that our mill was at once shut down. Then, when the girls in my room stood irresolute, uncertain what to do, asking each other, would you, or shall we turn out, and not one of them having the courage to lead off, I, who began to think they would not go out, after all their talk, became impatient and started on ahead, saying with childish bravado, I don't care what you do, I am going to turn out whether anyone else does or not, and I marched out and was followed by the others. As I looked back at the long line that followed me, I was more proud than I have ever been at any success I may have achieved.